The only thing I don't like about the Uptop Overland truss rack is that it's not installed on my truck. Welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel, everybody. If you like sweet bed rack mods and every other type of Tacoma mod, be sure to subscribe now. All right, everybody, as you can tell today, we are going over the up top overland trust rack. My buddy Ethan on Tacoma World and his Instagram is broyoda underscore, correct? Correct. I'll put that on the screen right now. Make sure to go ahead and give him a follow because as you can see, this isn't exactly the first mod he's done to his truck. So we're gonna go over this new sweet bed rack today, which you guys know I love up top overland. That's who made my roof rack. If you did not know, I'll put their link in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Okay, so before we get started with all the features and whatnot, what exactly prompted you to go ahead and go with the up top overland roof rack? Originally, I wanted to go with the uh, KB Voodoo rack, similar to what you have, but um, up top overland had a uh, Cyber Monday deal. And so um, I pulled the trigger. That's the way to do it. Save a ton of bucks. It's also like, that thing weighs 36 pounds. Oh, the rack does? 36? It's, I know, uh, I checked on the, like, the spec sheet. It's quarter inch aluminum and yours, your mid rack, you're saying is 36 pounds. That's what they That's said. nice. I'm trying to remember what my voodoo one was. I want to say, I mean, it's the tall, obviously, so yeah. it's a little bigger, but it's I want to say that was steel, like 40. Though, it? Yeah, it's steel, which is why I had all the rust issues, which you will not have exactly. with the up top one, which is aluminum. <laughs> That's the selling point right there. Okay, guys, so if you are interested in grabbing one of these racks, they are available for either long bed or short bed. Uh, mid height, which is what this is, you can see, it looks like it comes up, I want to say about, what, 12 inches or so off the bed rails. Or you can get the tall rack, which obviously comes all the way up, even with the roof line. Of course, if you're going to run a rooftop tent on it, you can sort of, you know, that's one of the things people sort of personal preference if you want the rooftop tent to stick up over your roof line of course that's going to rob you of a few of those sweet miles per gallon here you can see on this one the way it sits nicely with the mid-size bed rack it sticks up just a little bit but of course if you're running a roof rack with plano cases and all that stuff sort of lines that out nicely that lower combo it's nice to have the aerodynamics like for my application i knew i was probably never going to run a rooftop tent on top of my rack so on mine, I like that it's high because like when I'm looking through my rear view mirror, it doesn't block my view at all. So that's, you know, it's like two, two schools of thought. If you're going to run a exactly. rooftop tent or not, you got yeah, to decide what you want to do. I used to have the, uh, the full size better rack. Yeah. When I had the tent on there. Oh my gosh. That thing whistled, howled. You could feel it like a, yeah. like a sail going yeah, down exactly. the highway. You're like, like oh the God. Wind, when the crosswinds go, you can feel like yeah. your truck about to take off on the side. I can imagine like if you don't have a roof rack to help, you know, split some of that air resistance yeah. driving down the highway if you just have a rooftop tent sticking up that you know that's what it used to be 14 inches like just straight <laughs> 90 degree wind hitting it that's got to be two to three to miles the, per uh, gallon those uh this the hold down straps on the side of the tent you yeah always flap and the highway. oh yeah because they <laughs> like lost the, another one yeah now by default the bed racks do come in what up top overland calls stealth black but just like with the side color you see on my roof rack up top can do all kinds of custom colors you want obviously for an extra charge so if you're interested in getting something else like the side armor panels a different color or the support braces whatever you want just give them a call and they can work something out for you and i didn't see any specific numbers on their website but these are load bearing so this is perfectly safe to run with heavier stuff like rooftop tents and stuff like that which is certainly nice i've seen some of the other competition people complain about it where they were saying it was good for tents but they actually took them on the trail and it caused the rack to eventually fail like in a relatively short period of time so good to know that this one is stout and solid okay so you said you have gone wheeling with this you know with the tent fully installed a few times and it felt you didn't feel it like you know shaking like around pulling your bed nice and solid right it was it was as sturdy as can be yeah i would imagine that'd be like a terrifying feeling if you're you know, tilted at an angle while wheeling and it feels like your bed rack's loose or, yeah. you know, a little yeah. sketchy, so. And uh, I called up top before I purchased it and they said they said it was 36 pounds. Um, yeah. It, it, it feels light, I barely noticed. Yeah. Lightweight, but strong as hell. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's the best of both worlds. Yep. And as I zoom in closer, you guys can see these are the up top mounting plates, which of course you can put all of up tops mounting hardware for recovery boards, you know, rotopax gas cans, all that stuff. And 
They also have a bunch of other pre-drilled holes. You can put quick fist, you name it. You know, that's one of the things I like about these racks that are sort of modular, pre-drilled and stuff is the versatility for mounting all kinds of stuff. On the outside, of course, for your recovery gear like shovels, but then you can also utilize the inside space and really take advantage. And while we're back here, you can see if that's gonna show up on camera, the signature up top sort of grooves right here for like bungee cords and guy wires, stuff like that for securing gear. And of course, you can always just drill your own holes if you have something specific you wanted to do. These do come with all the necessary mounting hardware, stainless steel, good to go for that weather resistance. And one other quick thing, all of the crossbars right here, they are slotted, you can see in the middle, just like on my Uptop Overland roof rack where you can put those pieces and I can never remember what they're called. I'll put the name on the screen right now and a link in the description if you're interested in grabbing some, but they're stainless steel. They just slide right in. They have a hole in the middle that's threaded so you can install a bolt and like perfect for mounting lights, stuff like that. So you have that option on both sides of all three of these load bars. Super convenient feature. You don't have to remove any hardware from the side or anything. You just snap those pieces into place and you're good to go. Each hole um, on the modular side of the rack, um, they all have their own purposes. Okay. Um, so you mount specific things to each slot. I can't remember. There's 18 million holes on it. But, right. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, okay. And so I, I know that the holes I used were specifically made for the quick fist clamps. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and they have uh, different holes that are made specifically for like a uh, high lift mount. Right, yeah. Max tracks. Like the um, ones. They also have these two little um, extensions that you put on for max track. Okay. Um, yeah, the special max tracks like yep. bolts that yep, stick exactly. out and lock them yep, down. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, make their every every they, sure everything like secured. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. good. And on the crossbars right here, you can see these mounting holes for the actual armor plates are actually threaded, making it easier to install all the hardware for that. This first, uh, I guess, support. There's uh -huh. three of them. The first one, I started installing it by putting it, putting this this part on first. Um, and then trying on both sides and then trying to attach the crossbar didn't work um no <laughs> yeah not at all so gotcha. then the next three um i had to take it all off and i start them off the truck and then oh, on gotcha. the truck and then oh yeah that then makes it, sense and then install the side panels after it was all set up so i guess since it looks like the the top piece is independent from the side pieces Correct. and it looks like it slides on that channel so this would actually fit you know it does. Different yeah, width so, beds, so, so that's kind of nice. The same exact rack fits uh, yeah. tundra beds. Right. Um, but just, just these things will be out more. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So, I mean, this model is good for second-gen Tacomas, third-gen Tacomas, because even though the bed's 99% the same, I'm sure, you know, they're quarter-inch, you know, shorter or shallow, whatever. It might be a little different. So, and like you said, just for tundras also. And it looks like you have at least three inches of you can go out another three inches on the adjustment here i'm not sure how you know you'd want as much of these securing it as possible for you know safety reasons but yeah it's nice to have that adjustment and you can see they do install right there on the bed rails nice and secure three mounting points with two bolts on each on either side all right, everybody, that will do it for this video covering the Uptop Overland Truss Bed Rack. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think of it and if you're going to pick one up for yourself. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Don't forget to help the channel grow by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.